Hi everybody, so we're revisiting this thing because there's a couple of things I actually hadn't realised. Okay, this is the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. And it's not even released, it actually comes out in the end of November. So Elegoo have sent me this on a sort of, you know, give it a go before it's on the market. <laughs> That's the first time anybody's ever done that and I just think it's awesome and I never actually realised that where it was once. Now, it's due out in November and the price, it's $230, that's about £200 or so. I mean, that brings it into Christmas present kind of range that you're looking at. And of course, coming up to Christmas, what a stunning bit of marketing by then. But this has um, been a pleasure to use. I mean, it's running now, so you can hear what the printer's actually like. I actually get up and check it every now and then because I'm not sure it's still printing. But it's still printing. So amazingly quiet, really quite fun to use and of course with this large bed what it means is you can um, print things in large scale. Now I don't want to be disrespectful of lots of these 3D printers but the filament printers you know if you want something that is anything more than a kiddies toy or a model to use on a game you're printing it in a million parts and gluing it together. These things are enabling you to print large size pieces that can be used straight from the printer and that's always been a drawback for me and being able to do that is allowing me to indulge my passion in one or two things and of course I'm pretty passionate about uh, wind turbines and I have a particular soft spot for vertical wind turbines. Whatever it is you think, whether you think VAWT or HAWT is better, don't care, I love VAWT. And you remember we built a wind wall at a Savonius type because it was easy to make from drain fittings. Well there's another type called the uh, uh, Grinsky which is this a mathematical determined brilliant airflow supposedly much more efficient than Savonius don't really know but I am very interested in it now I'm not interested in it just by itself I'd like to build a wind wall out of it like the wind wall we made from Savonius types to see if we get a better result of it and of course that means making quite a few of them and they're complicated to make if you're trying to make them freehand however Quick trip to Thingiverse found me an Agrinsky wind turbine that will cover this bed and is about that height. So about the same size as the Savonius type that I made. So I'm just about to print to see what will happen when I glue them together in a wind wall because I don't have to glue whole loads together. I just make those separate ones and stack them up, which is brilliant, really. So I wanted to revisit the Elegoo for those reasons. It's printing right now. So when it finishes its print, we'll have a look and see what that's like. Okay, it's done. So we can take it off. Wow. <laughs> that is pretty sexy and pretty sleek. And I have no idea if that's going to work better than any other wind turbine. But I do like the shape of it and I do like the way it's been made. We certainly wouldn't be able to produce that easily by hand. It's got a double curvature, so that's going to make it actually quite difficult to do. Now, I want about five of these in order to build the wind wall version of this type, this Genski type of turbines. I'm going to print another four of them. That'll take a little bit of time, so it's quite good. But this is uh, really quiet, actually. I mean, it's noticeably very quiet. It's quite cool. Anyway very nice print. I did that with PLA at 40% fill and it's got a lot of ridges on the surface. Now with wind you might be tempted to smooth those ridges off but symmetry doesn't work in any system. In any system you want asymmetry for it to move because it's trying to move to symmetry. And it was discovered recently that the dimples on a golf ball are actually have a big impact on the movement of the golf ball. If you have a perfect sphere and a wind and a symmetrical wind, that sphere won't turn because there's no asymmetry. If you put dimples on it, suddenly it'll turn. So we want asymmetry. We probably, on a drag type, which is this X, want those dimples. So I'm going to leave the dimples in place and see what we can do with it. But it is really very beautiful. So let's print some more. And there she is, print number five. Singly, a thing of awesome beauty. So to make this thing, you take each of those sections and we build it up.
On the print there are little bolt holes so that we can bolt all this stuff together. I may not use those, I may actually just use glue. <laughs> so it's like a double helix, eh? I mean, that is a, an impressive thing to print. I mean, we're not in Kansas anymore, are we, Toto? Because that, I think, would be quite challenging to actually make. Now, you're going to find adherence to this. People tell you that this is going to be uh, super more efficient than anything else. And five will get you ten. So, sometimes somebody is going to post saying, no, that's a waste of time. What you need is a turbine like this, or you're completely wasting your time. And we also printed this on the Elegoo, remember? And this is just a standard kind of um, turbine. But to be honest, these blades are a piece of cake to make out of things like old pipe. And we've done that before, so it's not really a challenge. I did that just to see how the printer would do. But something like this is going to be challenging to make by hand, but not going to be that challenging to print. I mean, obviously, we could use these as a mould if we're going to print millions of these. But that, I really like the idea of it, and we are going to test that. But we have gone through a phase, if you remember, of using these squirrel cage rotors from fans. Now we do know that these work really quite well because this is the design that they're planning to put above motorways. So they work in that direction or they work in that direction. And when the cars go by, of course, it creates a wind and it spins those and you generate from the traffic on a motorway. The problem with these, unless you're actually pulling them from fans, is they're quite expensive. That's about £30-40 pounds to replace, which is crazy money when you're thinking about it. And it is relatively complex. Actually, there's some little bits it's a pain in the neck to make because these little bits just take such a long time to make and then cut up and glue together. And we've made types like this. But it has been a little bit of a pain and we've made them from Venetian blinds. Equally, I'm sure you can see that we can print sections of this on something like an Elegoo and then glue those sections together. So this is a known design that works really, really well. This design, um, I mean, I only recently came across it because somebody suggested it to me. I have read that it's a good design um, and you know what these things are like. They always have the ad adherence. They've always got people going, no, no, that's super built ace. Uh, and you've always got people going, no, no, that's a pile of poop. So it's difficult to know, really, without actually giving it a go and seeing how it does for yourself. So that's what we've got so far. And I need to put those together and put them in a wind wall framework and then actually test it. But I'm going to um, finish now because that's quite a lot of video to be talking about. And we'll build this into an actual wind wall, give it a bit of test and see how it actually does. Anyway. I know I'm singing the praises of that Elego and I feel almost like, you know, uh, my services have been bought by the company in the same way that a lady of the night would be bought for a story about a squirrel. But it is, um, it's done what I wanted to do and I'm quite astounded by it, um, really how nicely it's done it and how easily it's done it. It was a bit of time, that was the only problem with it, but you know, that's 3D printing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Watch out for the next one of this because I think it's going to be really interesting. And please remember to like and subscribe.